March 1st. Walking in God's ways and paths. Chew me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Psalm 25 4. He will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. Micah 4 2. There is a clear difference between a way and a path. The one is filled with the throb and stir of the world's life, the other is comparatively lonely and unfrequented. The roll of vehicles and noisy traffic fills the one, whilst the other is, for the most part, trodden by the individual, being too narrow and quiet for the crowd. It is a great comfort that God has paths as well as ways. God's ways are the great principles on which he acts, the mighty thoroughfares of creation, providence, revelation, human history, and final judgment. On these his goings forth have ever been of old, even from everlasting. To know them is the passionate desire of the purest and loftiest natures. Moses prayed, Shew me now thy ways, that I may know thee, and God graciously granted his request, for to Moses he made known his ways, but to Israel only his acts. There is need for us all to know God's ways, especially in this momentous era, because only so can we enter into his rest. In the Old and New Testaments the same warning is repeated, They shall not enter into my rest, because they have not known my ways, Psalm 95 11, Hebrews 3 10. We can look out calmly on this troubled world when once we have learned to know the divine program of gathering up all things in Christ, who is the head, when we walk with him who is the way to God, John 14 6. The paths of the Lord may be taken to describe his personal dealings with the individual, who through sickness, or the care of others, or by lonely duty, is isolated from the ordinary worship of the church, and shut away from fellowship and Christian ministry. All such may expect and reckon upon the saving help which will come through God's private communications. God is faithful to the soul that utterly trusts Him. He always comes on time, not a moment before, nor a moment too late. Remember that all His paths are mercy and truth. Dare to believe that he is coming along a secret pathway to bring the assurance of his mercy and grace to help in this time of need. Prayer Be with me, Lord, as I step out on the untrodden way of this month. I know not what it may bring of joy or sorrow, of temptation, or service, but I humbly commit myself and my way to thee. Make the best that thou canst of me for thy glory. Amen.